Hi guys. So I'm gonna share with you some springy Easter -y projects that I've been working on. Um, first things first is these little bunny heads um, inspired by crepe paper. Um, a lady on there, like one of their designers, um, did a similar bunny head and they were so cute that I just had to, you know, dig out my Maggie Holmes stash and recreate them with some paper flowers. And I think they turned out super cute. Um, I packaged mine up and mine are much smaller. They're like a, about an inch wide, an inch and a half wide by two inches. Um, I packaged them up and then I cut these this little topper part off um, with my silhouette. Same, same with the inside of the ears. And then I just glued a little puff ball on the back, you know, obviously to resemble a bunny tail. And I thought that was the cutest thing. And I made several packs of them. One is already on their, its way to its new home. So I definitely did those. I love them. I love how they turned out. Um, I will tag down below where I was inspired by these guys. Then this one, um, called Chips, so cute, um, was inspired by My Lovely Design Co. Um, I will tag her down below. Um, she has a YouTube and an Instagram, and she even provided the free template, so I will link down the tutorial super easy and super fast. Um, she did cut out a square, but I didn't have a square die, so I just used what I had. Um, but I really like the way it turned out, and I also didn't have the die she had, so I just used some, like, wannabe thickers that I had, some stickers, to spell out chips. And even the top is, like, you know, crease like a chip bag. And look at the back. <gasps> creative calories, 100%. Handmade, fun, creative fiber. Like, how cute is this? Full of fun, no preservatives. Like, adorable. And then the, um, made with love. And I just put some of the, um new target like chip chipboard pieces or whatever these are um cardstock pieces there's a lot in here but i put, um shoved some ones that fit in this little size um i think it came out super cute i was super excited to make this she uh posted it and i was like i need to get to work and make one then this guy um in one of my hauls you may have seen i bought a egg carton it had like egg ornaments that came with it but I wasn't gonna use it for that so on the outside I just decorated with some Maggie Holmes flourish um, pieces I just cut out a piece I was gonna paint it and then I didn't do that so I just cut out a piece of paper then backed it with two of the ephemera pieces on some puffy tape to give it uh, dimension then on this little the main piece you know that pops in and out I just glued a square pink rhinestone so it just so it just goes like that. On the inside, um, I glued down some Easter shred from um, what's the word? Target, just so it doesn't fly out and it still gives that look that it's you know in there. And then I got these eggs at Michael's. They're like a iridescent -y rainbow. They're super cute. Um, and then I just shoved them with like I don't even know little like knickknacks from my stash. So it's kind of like an embellishment box. But, um, paper clips. Um, but not as, uh, lots of buttons, stuff like that. You know, little knickknacks that you have that'll fit in the bottom of the egg. Because I didn't want it overflowing to where it wasn't gonna, um, it was gonna open and spill everywhere. So yeah, I thought that was super cute. This is for spring swap that I'm, um, working on. Alright, bye guys. Thanks for watching.